addressing the need for nurses at our major hospitals, and it's not just about money. Yeah, they were considered heroes of the pandemic. Now hospitals across Nebraska say staff are being treated poorly by patients and families. As KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon reports, the disrespect is making it tougher to keep those frontline workers. Nurses at Nebraska Medicine, Bryan Health, and Great Plains Health say the tide is turning on the profession. Our society as a whole is just tired. It's Dr. Sue Nuss says families are fed up after the health system implemented crisis standards and postponed elective surgeries. It's making small steps back to pre-Omicron operations, but some families are just disrespectful. Like a slap in the face that they are working so hard to care for these patients. So I think it's going to be challenging moving forward. Nebraska's Hospital Association projects a nursing shortfall of 5,500 by the year 2025. That's why it's pushing the legislature and governor to invest federal funds. It starts all the way back, all the way to, to middle school, uh, high school, getting those kids interested in the professions. We do have an issue with uh, faculty, not enough faculty in the nursing schools. As for the nurses they have, the three systems offer incentive bonuses for extra shifts. So nurses that are typically working three 12 hour shifts a week are now we're asking them to work four or five. As these issues come to a head, those nursing leaders are optimistic to see a decline in Omicron surge. They're just hopeful that there isn't a surge ahead of them. Alex McClune, KETV News Watch 7.